iOS 17 for iPhone is now out for everyone, and there's actually huge changes to the Apple Podcast app. And if you're a podcast creator, these changes are for you. You can now create custom episode artwork that's prominently featured on the Listen Now and your show page. There's updates to how chapters are displayed in Apple Podcasts, updates to your episode listing, show page design, and I want to give you some tips about starting a subscription and how you can get your podcast in front of more people. So here are seven tips for taking advantage of the changes in Apple Podcasts in iOS 17. All right, first up is custom episode artwork. That means in addition to your actual show artwork that represents your podcast across the board, there's now custom episode artwork that will show up here on the Listen Now page. And if you go to an individual show page, that custom episode artwork is displayed here in the episode listing. That means with every new episode, you have an opportunity to create engaging artwork or just some kind of imagery that will make someone want to tap that episode. Remember, even if someone follows your podcast, it doesn't mean they listen to every episode. So the packaging, meaning the title, and now the custom episode artwork is a big deal when you're creating new episodes. You can upload this custom episode artwork directly in the Apple Podcast dashboard or by uploading it to your podcast hosting provider. And keep in mind how it looks on the now playing screen. Dark imagery might not be the best. Maybe use something light and eye-catching, something colorful, so it looks good right here on the now playing screen. Number two, iOS 17 has changed where chapters are in the Apple Podcasts app. If you have a chapter-heavy podcast, or maybe you know your listeners use chapters, you might want to tell your listeners in your next episode where they can find these chapters. Now when you start playing an episode here in Apple Podcasts, this is the now playing screen. You actually get custom chapter artwork as well. We'll talk about that in a second. But now there's no more scrolling down to see show notes or seeing the chapters. If you want to browse the chapters of an episode, you have to tap the three line icon here. And now you'll see your up next queue and chapters are right here underneath this now playing widget. This is where I see the chapter titles and I can tap one to navigate to that chapter as I'm listening. I love podcast chapters, and I think they're a great way to help your listeners find the content they're most interested in. This way, rather than they just click away from your podcast and stop listening, they can jump to the part that they want to hear. And a great way to find places for those chapter markers in your podcast is by getting a transcription of your show, and then you can just search it, find the timestamps, and you're good to go. That's why you should record with Riverside. When you record with Riverside, you get an AI-powered transcription. You can get it in over 100 languages, and you can just search the transcription, find the timestamp, and then list your chapters in your podcast host easily. If you want to learn more about our Riverside editor, check out this video above or in the description. Number three, keep in mind the now playing screen has been redesigned and the episode listing on your show page is different. For instance, if I go to this podcast here, this is now the show page where you have custom show art, which we'll get to that in a minute. If you offer a subscription with your show, which we highly recommend, and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. And then here you actually see the episode listing. Like I mentioned, here's the custom episode artwork, but you also see titles very prominently for each episode. And there's actually a play button right underneath the title so they can just one tap and start listening. That's why I want to encourage you. It's time to start thinking about your podcast episode packaging. Again, meaning custom episode artwork and a title. Much like on YouTube where a thumbnail and title is all that people have to go off of when they first see that video, your episode title and your artwork is what listeners are going to see and might encourage them to click. So I would encourage you, don't have a bland title or just something generic. Try to be engaging, catchy, maybe generate some curiosity with those titles. This way they're more likely to click play on your show page or if they come across your podcast in the browse section. Also on the now playing screen, there's been a design update where colors match the chapter artwork you have in your podcast. If I go to a different chapter, you'll see the entire color scheme of the now playing screen changes. So not only think about custom episode artwork, but even chapter artwork to make that now playing screen really pop as people listen to your show. Number four, your podcast show page in Apple Podcasts can now be customized with lots of different artwork. For instance, I can go to the Ad Lucem podcast from Qcode, and you'll see this is fully designed. This is not just a square podcast artwork. This is a custom image that actually blends into the show page. Another great example is the Dreamful podcast. Again, beautiful imagery here on the show page. And this might be someone's first experience to your show if they found it like on the browse page. So if you haven't caught it yet, visual design and artwork is a huge deal in Apple Podcasts in iOS 17. Now Apple Podcasts has a whole page giving you the proper dimensions for this artwork and how you can customize your show page. We'll put that link down in the video description so you can start customizing your show. Again, I love designs like this that kind of just blend into the color down at the bottom. You can use patterns in the background of your show page and then just have your logo kind of floating. And again, all of these are much more visually appealing than just having the plain square artwork for your show. Number five, Apple is surfacing subscriptions more and more on the now playing screen and on a show page. So it's time to offer a subscription. This could be bonus content, maybe an ad-free version, or just early access to your content. Podcast subscriptions will show up on the show page right here, and you can actually sign up and even offer free trials. You can also offer subscriptions across channels that will affect multiple shows. And yes, there's even custom artwork 
for subscription channels like this. I find subscriptions in Apple Podcasts actually have a high conversion rate, higher than even some other direct monetization platforms, and it's really easy to set up. Plus, users can just two taps and they've already subscribed to your show. And offering those free trials is a great way to have them start listening to your bonus content, and hopefully they get hooked and continue paying for your subscription. Number six, if you have multiple shows that are part of a podcast network or a group of shows, then it's time to create a channel in Apple Podcasts. Channels can actually house multiple shows and are prominently featured both in the library page and on the browse page. When you create a channel, you can add multiple shows and then offer paid subscriptions that actually apply across all those different programs. Now here are shows that I don't follow in Apple Podcasts, but their custom episode artwork and titles with just a play button right here on the Listen Now page is being shown to me. This is why it's so important to have some of that engaging artwork and catchy titles that generate curiosity so someone is likely to click play right here on their Now Playing screen. Channels are also featured here on the Listen Now page and jumping into a channel shows you all the shows associated. Creating a channel for your shows is super simple and you can do custom episode artwork for the channel as well. We'll put a link to the Apple Podcast Creator dashboard down in the video description so you can get started creating channels for your shows. All right, tip number seven. If you wanna grow your podcast and reach a wider audience, it's time to start using video and share those vertical clips on YouTube Shorts, Reels, and TikTok. These vertical clips with captions are the best way to get your show in front of more people and hopefully convert them to listeners in Apple Podcasts or Spotify. When you record with Riverside, we make it incredibly easy to create these vertical clips, and actually, we'll just do it for you. Once you record with Riverside, you can use our Magic Clips feature to click one button, and we'll automatically generate five to seven vertical clips a minute long or less. AI will find the most engaging moments of your recording, we'll title it for you, and then you can still adjust it and edit it, and then share those clips easily on social media. Also, we have enhanced captions now where you can adjust the font, text size, color, and style all right in the Riverside editor and just export those so they're ready for social media. If you'd like to learn more about Magic Clips and the Riverside Editor, check out this video above or in the description, and subscribe to the Riverside channel. We have some exciting features coming very, very soon. We're making it even easier to create video content and podcasts to share with the world. If you have any questions, leave a comment below this video. We answer all of those there. And thanks for tuning in. And before you go, you should check out this video right here. It's a good one.